In this video, we're going to look at how we can convert between logs and exponents. And it's important to remember the property that says that if we have some base risen to some exponent equaling some answer, it will convert to a logarithm being the exact same equation where we write the base as a small subscript, the answer inside the logarithm, and then it will always equal the exponent. So when we write these, these three problems as logarithms, we'll write log for m cubed equals 5. Really small, we'll write the base from the problem, which is a base of m. Inside the log, we write the answer of 5, and the logarithm will always equal the exponent because a log is an exponent always equals the exponent. So for the second example, when we want to write it as a log, switching forms, we write log so we know we're in the opposite form. The 7 is the base of the problem, so it's our little subscript. What is... the answer is goes inside the logarithm, and the log will always equal the exponent here of 2. Log base 7 of b equals 2 is the same as 7 squared, equals b. We can even do this with fractions. In the example, 2 thirds to the fourth power equals 16 of over 81, if we want to write it as a log, again, as a subscript, we write the base of the problem, which is the 2 thirds. Put in the answer inside the log, 16 over 81, it will always equal the exponent, the exponent of 4. We can also go much the opposite direction if we first start with the log information. Let me do it this way. Let's... whoops. Move this over. If I first give you the log, we should be able to convert it into an exponent because we know this little tiny subscript is the base of the problem. It always equals the exponent on the problem and then we can make it equal to whatever's inside the logarithm. Two ways to write the same expression. So we have three examples here that we can rewrite in exponent form. The base, we always know, is the little subscript, so we have a base of 4. The exponent is always what it equals. 2 equals the inside number of 16, and sure enough, 4 squared does equal 16. In this next example, we have log base 3 of x equals 7. The base is the base of the exponent problem. The log equals the exponent. 7 must be the exponent, with x being the solution. In this last example, we have log base 9 of 3 equals 1 half. The base is the subscript of 9. The exponent is what the log equals, because a log always equals an exponent. A log is an exponent, equals 3. This ability to switch back and forth between log form and exponent form is the most fundamental, important thing that you as a student understand about logarithms. The ability to convert seamlessly between the two forms is essential as the problems become more involved and more complicated.